Yeah, it's gonna be A. Yeah, I'm gonna actually need to. Oh, that's why I'm getting so. Uh, well, yesterday was just me and King in our uh, game one. After first knockdown, there was a disconnect. I didn't put the. I'm not gonna put the video up there because it's like. There ain't no video for it. Like. Three minutes of a fight night video is not what I consider a video. It was just one round, not even a whole game. He had to eat, quote, quote, eat. I say quote, quote, cause I mean, I don't know how accurate that would be. I think everybody else is just busy today then. Who knows? Ooh, Asa said something. Oh no, that was you, no mind. Yeah, everybody's busy today, it looks like. Oh well. That's some of the reason why I've been, uh, why Saturday Fight Night's been a little more spacious, is as of late, there hasn't been as many, you know, as many fighters as I'd like it to be. That's why I keep trying to get people to, you know, realize we need to start recruiting a little more, but. I'm not even too worried about that, you know? Because as far as I'm concerned, the few people that's worth it, they get real cocky and stuff like that. They just taunt us like, they're 50-50 and it's not worth it. Or they just don't ever come back. It's like, you know what, whatever. I've spent time fighting uh, one round with somebody that uh, King was like, yeah, he, he's not bad. And I'm like, define not bad. I'm thinking you gotta be a little more specific. Cause not bad to you don't mean shit to me. Cause by being quote quote not bad, I mean there's that skill gap. This guy don't fucking have enough. You know what? Figure out the costumes on your own, bitch. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> like, I hate those players who go and swap around and jump character to character to character to character, and I was like, should have done this on your own. You should have went offline or something. You want me to create or? Okay, you got one. All right, just give me the code. Right, it's two, seven. Deep on. Nine, three, six. I got you. All right. So I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna explain the rules to you. You and I have been doing this for some time. There's no need to explain the rules. But all right. So for tonight, do you want to just have a standard championship, three out of five, or first to five? So this is just the two of us. I, I like putting a little more work into the. First to five, you know that worked on my behalf, all right. First player to score five points, it don't have to be back to back, but whoever could go out of five, there's no, nothing else matters. Um, you know what, actually, um, I've been pressing up with scraps a lot. You know what, I'm gonna, I usually don't, like, I wear this, I don't mind wearing it, I just, I haven't been, but not only am I going to be keeping the gold, I'm going to wear the gold. You know what I mean. There's an angle. Power takes another hit. Friend of my Well yeah. Oh you turned off hounds, okay. Some muscles on him. That was coming, I knew it. One two 
That knocked him around. A hard punch from Apollo. He needs to recover fast. One. Two. Nah. Three. Absolutely terrifying power. They have the Toughness and temper came or cocky temper came across. That's one of the biggest things I have to look for. Cocky and temper. Catches his opponent with a clean shot. A perfect hit from a oh, that, de that delay hit. Oh, that got me good. I, I was like, okay. One. Eh, it's not two. too bad off. It should definitely be within the uh, next five to ten punches. Look out. Oh, well. One, two, three, four. Oh, square into his opponent. I was gonna let you up. I'm like, nah. You put up a good enough fight where I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. That's a pretty good looking scorecard, I'll give it. That's a good looking scorecard. Pretty close in a lot of ways. Stagger, knockdown wise, you and I tied up. Hip wise, you definitely. Yeah, just a short amount. Deep on so, pretty close in that. Just a few hit difference. Uh, let's see. You know what, hell, uh, what stylish. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh no. Oh uh, no, no. I, I like running and tell me whenever the hell I want, but. Like a. Overexertion, remember. Keep that in mind. Incredible power. <laughs> wow, look at that. What a hit, Balboa is a complete powerhouse. Body shots. One. Remember, that's like Two. one of the biggest things I like going after. They're right about here. There's a good midsection shot. Because remember, you can still technically hit the short line. <laughs> Although ideally, I like hitting above it, and I try to aim above it. But don't mean there's still not mistake shots. Because by hitting the belt line, I feel like that's just as disrespectful as trying to hit below the belt. So I tried to avoid shots like that. Purposely slowing down, but I'm like, why? Why do I need to? Uh, it's two to one right now. This is gonna be two two. A hard punch from Balboa. Oh, two two. One. Three one. Two, three. No, it's yeah. It was two one. Now it's two two. Yeah. No, it's three two. One. Two, remember, remember, three, remember. Your stamina goes down. You go down faster. Five. That's why hitting and uh, when your stamina is down is like so valuable. Oh, I thought I slipped you. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, I tried to go defense on that one. Balboa 
Whoa. That was... Really, Balboa? I would have expected more. Well, to be fair, a couple of those rounds, there wasn't a, uh... A couple of those rounds, there was no leading point. So, you know what? Nine, I'll take 90, whatever. 1-1. One, one. It'd be boring if I won all five outright. So, I mean... Hey, it is. I mean, would you not be bored if we went only five games and called it a day for fight night? Hey, look, it don't matter if it was you, if it was Spartan, I'd get bored with this short amount, nah. Look, I care about having a good fight. One of the best parts about fight night is enjoying a good opponent. I don't care how good we really are. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put a Tommy gun out here now. Oh, it just goes. We both have overexertion, that's why. I just didn't want to go stat per stat, because then it's like... Then that one would be more about stat-wise over anything else here. Now... Oh, I've messed up my right hand shot. Oh, you were in stagger. I didn't even realize it. Like I said, I don't care about stagger shots. Oh. I did a good. I don't. I don't care too much. I really don't care if I'm honest about stagger hits. I just try to limit myself because of that skill gap. Because if I start hitting y'all in stagger, then I don't want to deflate your tires too much. One one. One one. Round one. Round one was uh, a bell ring. Him stumbling. Good catch, good catch, good catch. One. Right into my Two. hand. Right into my hand is where you Three. lead. Remember, heat seekers. Period. That's why when Spartan knocks me down, is like. When I'm fighting Spartan, they, uh, him jumping around is, well, it's not futile, but, it'll, uh, throw my shots out a little more than what I would like. My left hand was in, uh, like, the red mode, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Four. I think it's two to three right now. Gun comes in with a punch. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Maybe. Weak or not, you still land it. It was a 92. I want to talk shit about Conlon in this case. Uh, Con Conlon took 92. He took uh, just as much as Clubber did. So far, I think the weakest one that you've played as has been uh, Drago. Or Victor. He don't get the Drago name. He's not cool enough. You know what? Actually, I'll, I'll go... I'll go a little outside the box with a Nez. Oh, I don't I, I just like the general idea. He's one of the characters that I don't mind playing. I hate that fucker. I swear to do. So many kids just constantly pick it. It's like, enough.
<laughs> the fucking alleyways, like, I'm tired of that map. You know what I mean? I don't mind randomizing it, but it's like, they purposely pick it. A powerful blow! <laughs> Plus, despite being overexerted, I still have my uh, defense abilities. No power, just less stamina. So I just have to power. I just have to plan out shots a little better. A lot of overexertion is just about trying to find the opening and not wasting shots. That's really what overexertion comes down to. That's really what, like. Punch in my hands. You forgetting this is supposed to be championship shit. No pulling that punch. Yeah, an opening for a second. Incredible oh, form. I'm not too ready to recover. Power. Yeah, you're throwing me off too. I'm not even gonna lie. When you hug me, when I said I hate that, there, there's a reason why I still. Oh, I mean, I've learned to fight with it. It's just so damn annoying. The only problem is I can't use that over extreme length I have. And so my natural idea of throwing out a full punch is now taking away that speed. It's like, knock it off, get off me. Although it does give me quicker speeds when I uh, learn, like when you're right up on me. It's just more of a preference wise. Not that I do any less better or any worse with it, you know what I mean? Four. Well, first off, I'm tough. Number one. Number two, a lot of my hits, well, your hits came right here. Or it would be on the other side, but it's riding this tab right here is the problem. I kept a good defense, and that's why I was saying it's not that I can't fight with you being right up in my face. I just have that preference of not being in someone's face. By being in my face, you pretty much make it easier for me to defend. Since you're right here, your arms and body could get stuck in the opponent. Not to mention, if you're right up on top of each other, you can't really see what we're doing all too great. So it pretty much makes life a whole lot easier to do shit, if I'm honest. Uh, uh, it is 3 to 1 right now. Who said anything about warm-ups here? I'll fight you just cause. I'll give you a sixth round depending on how it is. I don't give a shit. I'm confident. So far, it's been Creed, Drago, and Nez as the victors. And then Balboa and Gun are the losers. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm trying to remember and not mix up the fights. It was Creed 1, Nez 1. Yeah, Balboa lost, and then... Okay, I never played as Drago yet. Not in... Not in the actual big boy fight yet. And you know what, actually? I'm gonna I'm take a rematch on Balboa. That was a pretty close call on that match, so... I'm pretty sure the same arena was, uh... The red one. Eh, I don't care. But I'm pretty sure it was the red one. It don't matter too much. The general idea is the fight itself, not the arena. You see, the trick about overexerted characters isn't too much about punching them in stagger, but trying to wail them on them before they could get the stamina back out of stagger. Keep them in a constant out of breath state.
got Balboa really showing off his power with that blow. He lost his footing. Yeah, because once you start letting up on uh, exertion players, they can start putting you in that uh, stagger and you keep getting your uh, energy back. As, as long as you can keep your opponent in stagger and resetting them, they're pretty much good to go. Balboa's getting his ass kicked. This is rarity. Will Balboa follow Because ah, I said fuck you. One, <laughs> you want the two, answer to that. <laughs> three, four. Balboa delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. One, two, three, four. <laughs> just, just, just save the energy, save the energy. Ah, uh, but uh, just that. Six, <sighs> it's going to wear you down. I would, I would have. Then again, I got other things to prove. Yeah, that was. Oh, I thought I was down an extra knockdown. That's why I went for the stagger hit. Oh well, shit. If I knew that, if I didn't miss uh, counted rounds, that's one of the. Honestly, that's pretty much what I'd expect. Remember, Balboa's tough. True, true, but for most, a tough fighter, like in more health, we get 40-40, give or take for the first two, and then it'll be like about 20-20. We could average about 120 hits, depending on how you uh, hit us, win, and all that other stuff. Yeah, I, I just mistook. I think you're probably a hit or two from uh, knockdown anyways. But yeah, you were definitely going to... Need a, a whale up a few more. All right. You know, actually, I'm a. I go with that one a lot. I'm gonna swap it up a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Not at the moment, you ain't. And not for the rest of the year, you won't be. My goal before this year is I'm uh, my goal is to never be beaten for my belt. I don't like you have I have two technical belts, both Friday and Saturday belts. You have to try to take away. And then like I was telling you need you just want Saturday or good luck with that one, because that's the one I want the most. That's the one that has the nine plus months on it. Or this is month nine now. Uh, well, I'm still champ, but still, it's not it's not something I plan on doing. Drago catches his opponent with a clean shot. Because when it comes down to Saturday night, I need to go and make sure, like I will literally do whatever I need to to win. If you push me that far, you better bet I'm going to do what I need to win. Hitting him with some good shots. Oh, a hard hit to Drago. One, two. Hey, I'd rather I'd rather kill somebody knowing you ain't. I can't say that live. Never mind. I am live, I am not saying that live. Square into his opponent. What? Oh no, it's because I need to get money to activate the uh, editor. Because in order to use it, I need the subscription. That's why the actual thing's up there. And even in the description, I have it called the limited raw footage. Once I get that... uh editor up and running that's going completely private and the actual version will be popping up online it's so stupid when you see it in such a raw form 
That's why, unless there's like a special event, that's why I don't generally modify the thing. Because I was originally going to put it through one editor. is like, yeah, so we can't do that. I'm like, fuck you. And so that's that's why I'm like... Fires off a solid punch at his opponent. You know, like, as I was saying, what I was saying, all I heard in my ear was, because I'm black! And I'm like, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, there I uh I made a sound effect from uh Fluffy, you know the comedian One, Fluffy. Like the two, Gabriel three, I don't remember the fucking rest of his name. Four, well, there was a little skit he did where uh cops like he's like, any chance to get a ch uh, chance to mess with cops, he will. As like there's a uh, time where he uh gets pulled over. That's like you know what you were doing? Uh, it's like, uh, you know why I pulled you over? And it looks over. Because I'm black! And I'm like, it, it was a stupid skit, so I cut the video for the sound effect so I could make it my phone notification. <laughs> However, I never officially changed it yet. So just uh, cycling through music. Yeah, pretty much right when, like, right at perfect timing when we were talking. It's just like, boom! And I'm like, I'm like, you know, that was supposed to mess with people at work. Not, not me. <laughs> the idea. Yep, ju just cause I'm. What a hit, ju just cause. A I mean, I've definitely been heard saying a lot worse on video. But like. By and I'm supposed to still be PG, despite the fact we use whatever language we like. As long as it's not like, uh, uh, racial. Like, using discriminatory dialogue. Yeah, PG-13 is the best way to put it. Oh, what a hit! Drago fires off a blow that If he dies, he dies. Yeah, you're right, that's the point. <laughs> Hate to say it, but even without that, it's five to one. And even if I give you that practice, you got one more to go, buddy. You got a long, you got a long way to go. If we weren't to count that first one as a practice, it's five to one. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, because it's right now four to one. It's four to one, not counting the uh, if we don't count the practice round you are calling. It's. One, two, three, four, and then technically five, but you called a uh, a uh, training round, so it don't matter which one of those you want to take. Throw it out the window. Four to one right now. You got a lot of work to do. All right, look, we could go one more. I've seen we've seen people not naming off names. <coughs> Chevy <coughs> make hell of a comeback. Like, we've seen him do it before, so I have no doubt you could if you wanted to. Everyone has. It's just a matter of... Are you going to? You know what? Actually, I don't usually use Barino too much. What's your... That is ugly. I think everybody uses this skin. It's either this or it's default. I don't really see too many in-betweens. Who knows? I mean, champion-wise, yeah. Out of that, I don't care about going more. You know, actually, I just realized we both sprinted, so pretty much this comes down to who does better in certain stages. You can't defend, but I also give you extra punch power. I also feel like uh, Sparino's actually a lot easier to knock out than what they say. He feels lean to me. I just feel he's lean. Like, whenever I fight him, it, he always goes down so fucking quick. That's what, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. He goes down so quickly. I'm like, wait, what? 50-50, because I've knocked his ass out sooner. 
Oh, you went for a speed run? Oh, nice. I swear, that's just the game fucking with us. Like, uh, Vic, you know, the second fight, the, the lean guy. His ass went down in my, uh, speed run that took world record. He went down six times, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? That's what I'm saying. He should have went down in 2-3, because he's lean. But he went six, and I'm like, oh, you fuckers. I'm gonna get away from these ropes. I don't think those ropes. Holding the center ring is definitely crucial. I try keeping away from the ropes unless if I'm the one pushing someone to the ropes. Yeah, no, it's all about the luck and the run. Oh, good body. Yeah. I mean, I could play as Brino, it's just he's not obviously one of my best. <laughs> oh, that, that quick jab before that uh, went, like, we land, like, dual hit each other, and that came in handy. He's not too bad. Not really. Like he would, he would honestly be one of the better fighters for somebody in my case. He's got good health. His only flaw is the fact that he's uh not capable of blocking all too great, which is good for somebody who don't like blocking all too much. Just need to land a few more, yeah. Like I said, Spirino's not exactly what you call my best, yeah. Oh yeah, against certain opponents, oh yeah, my defense becomes Im not impenetrable, but a pain in the ass to do. And that's the idea, is to four to two. Like I said, it's possible. It is possible to make comebacks with that. You think this is stylish enough? Pay me off. You want you 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 trying to bribe me? Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? I tell you what. I tell you what. You want you want to pay me off? I'll tell you what you need to do. We're gonna touch gloves, and before you can start doing nothing, I'll hit 120 hits, and then I'll let you win. You're like fuck you. <laughs> Oh shit. When you're so like when you get into the heat and you get momentum going then you realize oh shit that's stagger. Bashir drives his opponent back. One, two. Eh. Remember, I'm weak though too. My character is literally weak. The anti coda defense. No, I shit you not. I shit you not. Because it works against you, that's why. Because I know how you fight, and honestly, if I want to whip that out, you would fall so fast for that. It just stops me from popping my offense immediately. You remember how I tell, keep telling y'all to learn and adapt? One, I just thought of that right now on the three, spot, honestly. Four, five, 
because it takes out your key feature. It takes out one of your strongest features against me. It don't work on me, sorry. It was, it was an anti-code defense, okay? It was anti-you. It was meant for you, not me. Okay, so, would you like me to explain why that worked on you? I'll, I'll be happy to explain, alright. So, when you're fighting, I've noticed a lot of your attacks, when I'm blocking like this, you can still break through me. It's a pain in the ass for you to do it. But I notice a lot of your cider shots keep hitting me. I'm like, you know what? Putting it like this stops you. Because now, now I'm pretty much defending everything. And you have a bad habit of going for my heads. Especially when you're going for rapid shots, you go a lot for my head. So by doing that, from my point of view, this is why I keep telling y'all to watch the fight nights. Because from my point of view, like what you were just doing look like this. Which I don't give a shit. Because I know the camera angles and internet, VR technology, you know, it's not going to look right. But the way I see it, I'm like, I see how it's coming at me. So since I see your hands are going overhand and I see them coming from a curve, I'm like, oh yeah, just done. Uh, for this, so let me, let me, let me, let me, all right. So pop that up, pop that up for me and I'll show you. First off, when you're holding that, if you pop it, you could, if you go far enough to the side, you could actually hit that off still. But otherwise, the problem with doing this, I'll even let you know. Because A, it takes a second to actually throw hands. Because my hands are crossed. And my arms are crossed. Yeah, but for an actual style, trying to that just feels wrong. And I still have to move my hands in a way where my controllers won't clash. So it stops me from pulling off an immediate offense. Where this one, once you start backing off, it immediately allows me to. As I wish. You see what I mean? So I can't throw an offense at all yeah but then again it hit more uh blocks than what that one did like the other defense will block you a lot more but it also enables you to hit me a lot better and i'm like nah the same could also be said is you made a mention about body shots would work a lot more and yeah it would have which is why once i seen you pull it up i'm like let's just hit a few bodies and let's just curve around to the side if a, your swing is wide enough, any type, like blocks like this, even this works. Even a wide enough shot will still hit me over here. That's why defense isn't exactly in my, uh, it's not in my wheelhouse when it comes down to being a strong fighter. But having a offense that's so powerful is something else. But then again, after fighting with Spartan so much and Chevy so much, I kind of just put together your generic defenses like such where you could kind of just learn to you learn how to beat them after fighting them so much that's why when so many players keep putting up like uh i've seen people going i'm like what the fuck is that i'm like no i'm like a your body and b b i could still hit you up here it don't stop me at all you could still hit up there each attack you could still hit through but Oh, that's dirty. Okay, you know what? Okay, my old ass. I'm starting to get gray hair, man. I know. I'm too old for this shit. I know. The day that, like, I already exaggerated being old because I'm one of the older Fight Night guys here. Amongst new Fight Night, at least. Even in old Fight Night, I still have a fair age gap on uh, quite a few of y'all. Well, Chevy, I think, is in his 40s, 50s. Spartan is 30s, 40s, I think. Uh, Wolfpack is, I think, 17. 17. 17, 18. He's looking to go to college last time I heard. I think he's about 17, 18 by now. He's still pretty much... He, he's pretty much uh, barely legal territory. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I had to put it like that, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but that's pretty much saying you're pretty much 17 to 19. That's pretty much what that means. 
I forget that you guys, and by you guys, I mean this next generation, use the stupid ass things like Alpha, Sigma, and Skibbity Toilet, or whatever the fuck it is you guys use. How old are you? How old are you? Exactly. <laughs> Which is very true. Like I said, next year, at this rate, next year, there will be a new champion. I have no doubt about that. There will be a new champion next year, and I will... What? Well, not necessarily a comeback. But you guys have been working hard, like Andy. Or not Andy, but Anthony. I swear to God. <laughs> Anthony has been training... Like, he's been working hard on the game. Not just here, but also, and uh, I showed him other things I play to get better. And he's been working his ass off. And I kid you not, he's now better than uh, King. Because King's making a mention, he's like, King's like, yeah, you gotten good at the game. It's like, he's, he's wasting time learning from me. When we hang out, which is very few in between because of the age gap and, you know, the fact that you guys are still minors and I'm the adult is like there's that fine line that I'd be crossing with it but I'm like this is how it would be that's why if you guys ever catch me you could probably catch me on VRC a lot I like chilling around on VR chat I have both of them at it and honestly I would love to get you on VRC too because there's a, I have a big thing planned for, uh, once I win out Super Fight 2024. Which is going to be something else. But pretty much it's going to be a celebration right after the end of that. And I was going to host it on VR chat. And, uh, since I have both King and, uh, Anthony there. I was going to keep grabbing as many current day Fight Night fighters or anyone who's got quests and capable of coming on. And I was going to keep grabbing y'all so that I could get a fair amount of players for a celebration of a sort for the winner. Which is going to be yours truly because, I mean. Well, it really, right now, as of right now, there is no set up opponent for uh, Super Fight. Because this is how Super Fight goes. It is like last year, it is a traditional fight. It's going to happen every year. It'll be the of the week before. Or within the last week or two before the uh, end of the year. Which is uh, pretty much like is our closing fight. It's going to be the biggest, uh, the longest fight between fighters. And it's going to be of our top ranked fighters. Usually, it will have whoever's champions fight out all 15 rounds. But because right now I have both belts, it's only going to be one player winning out the match and fighting, so it's only shrunk down to one. But it'll pretty much become 15 rounds. And in the month to come up, so December, that entire month will pretty much be dedicated to... Uh, you remember how back then we had that ranking system? How is like your first this month, or you're the champion, your second rank because you got the finals. You, you don't remember how it used to go. That ranking system is going to be coming back. Like we still use it, it's just that ranking system will matter at that point. Because during that. So far, if I was going to take the prediction on who I'm going to be meeting in the ring during Super Fight, there are two options. I'm going to either fight the second ranked player or the number one contender, which is going to be decided by some mathematics and shit like that. And I'll, I'll explain that. And I'm pretty sure it's even described in the match dis, uh, description in Discord's uh, match set types. But if it's not that, the match type will come down to uh, whoever I ask to fight. And, I mean, that's how it goes. Granted, right now, there there's two fighters I have in mind that I'm going to volunteer for Super Fight 2024. Right now, Spartan is the number one candidate I'm looking to fight. I've already invited him. I already told him he's my number one target. 
Because if there's anybody who could go and stand toe to toe, like if there's anyone who could pull off a fight like that, it will be Spartan. Because uh, when we fought randomly in our exhibition fights throughout the year, we fought a 10 back to back fights. Then we fought 12. Three more rounds ain't nothing for the two of us, really. We fought in, in much bigger fight nights than that. It's per. No, I think we fought like. Hold on, that was like. Eight? Because you got. You won two. I just won five. And then that practice round. I have the video, bitch. It's still nine and ten. And when did you win three? You won one as per, uh, as priest, or not priest, but Anderson. And you won one as um. You lost as Conlin. You won as Conlin zero today, because you fought Tommy Gunn and then you haven't used him since. Oh no, I, I'm saying tonight, tonight. What I'm saying, well, what I'm saying is we fought back-to-back -back rounds. What's the highest round count you and I did? Fourth of July at the 12? Yeah. And even then, I mean... 12 rounds is a... It, it proves, you know, in a level compared to the entire 15. Now, you and I are quick, uh, quick, quick handed, for sure. And we like... And we like going quick. But the thing about fighting each other, though, is our matches go a lot quicker. Me and Spartan knows more defense and a lot more traditional styling. And so the fight's not going to just take about the hour to hour and a half. It'll be about an hour and a half to two hours for the two of us. And since something I'm going to point out, and I'm not, I mean no disrespect, but Spartan moves... Spartan's dodging is incredible, and he's constantly dodging. That man moves all the time. I don't dodge y'all because you guys ain't at the level where you need or where I need to. It's me holding back at the moment. If that makes uh, like you know, like it, it, it makes sense. I mean, no disrespect, but it's true. Because if I started fighting full speed and full strength and no limitations. Then I have no doubt there'll only be one to come up against me for. Like there, there, there'd be no question doubt. But based on how everything's going, Spartan he will move like crazy, and dodge the attacks, and we'll we'll take our time with that because we know we're gonna exhaust each other. Regardless, super fight will happen after the year, uh, my year milestone as champion, anyways. Because I won the title back on the 10th of December. It just so happens they would be on the December 10th again. So I just have like 3-4 months I need to buy time for. Yes, 3 months before I hit a year and then it would pretty much be a 3.5 months for Super Fight. And then that ends 2024. But as far as I'm concerned, I mean, if I was to pick a fighter, I'm picking Spartan. And then it come down to the next fighter, I would choose the ranked one contender. And then after choosing ranked one contender, that's when I'll just, you know, go down the list until y'all finally, you know, do something. There's also going to be other deciding factors on what I'm going to be banking in. But regardless of who it's going to be, in order to be the, uh... Like, I'm also going to look at more than just Fight Night stats, too. When I, uh, depict on who's going to be fighting. I'm also going to look at records, too. Like, uh... Like y'all's leaderboard status, your... You know actual championship record as is right now you have three belts I don't know your speed run time yet 
I mean, I would if you if you did good enough, I would put it on speedrun.com. Cause it's always fun to contend on uh like on site. It's always fun contending. It'd take a lot of work, but you know. But the way I see it, that's just that's just how it runs. Because I, I like the idea that by doing stuff like especially speed runs, I like having them verified on something like speedrun.com because then you got rules and stuff like that you have to follow like have an audio during your thing a actual proof video not just he said she said you know what I mean but Spartan's been my uh, number one choice purely because I know what he could do and Spartan also knows my plan for the end of the year and he knows the update and so yeah, I'll be double checking the time because yeah, I want to know how quick you did it. I'm interested. But yeah, it comes down to basic stuff like that. But unless if one of y'all can uh, push up to that level and you know, like show otherwise, then you know, that's that. Records. Well, well, I mean, achievement-wise, personal achievements, it's just, like, personal achievement just lets people know what you think is a big deal, and it's just one of those personal things that's like, yeah, I feel good for being able to pull this off. That's pretty much all personal achievements are. It's like a nice resume. Yeah, no, you, you good. But good, good fight night, man. That was some pretty good working. But like I said, like I said, you weren't beating me on my birthday. I'm sorry, but I wasn't letting that happen. I was not letting that down. I refuse. If that happened, that would turn, like, if someone got beat on their birthday, that would be the biggest low blow. I'd rather go and be stripped of my belt knowing I'm going to lose and just be like, no, nah, I'm not losing my belt in a fight. Because at least then you could at least still be like you know what I wasn't beaten it was you know what I mean so it doesn't hurt nearly as bad compared to yeah I got beat I got my ass handed to me unless you put up a real good fight and you're like you know what you deserve that then sure but as far as I'm concerned I, I told you I wasn't losing it on my birthday you lucky I wasn't following the rules I was following last year because did I tell you what happened last year so last year when I turned 21, right? I have the video on my channel as well. This is old fight night. Uh, even Spartan got his, uh, he, he dipped his hand into the, you know, into the cat and stayed. But pretty much if you staggered me, I took a shot. You knocked me down, I took a shot. You beat me, I took two shots. And I went for hours. And oh man, I was fighting drunk as fuck. Like, it was so funny. I beat some of them. After a certain while, I mean, you could tell I was slipping. Uh, it was... I fought Spartan, Rexy, and I don't remember anybody else. Because that's just how much I was drinking. You could even see it in the group chat if you were to go scroll up all that, like, that year ago. You could even see it then, but it, it was hilarious. But chip. Oh yeah, mistletoe is amazing. He don't like hitting and stagger. He's one of those people who uh, didn't like stagger hits. And then after a minute, I was like, you know what? I don't need to hit and stagger. So let, let's. So I just kind of started following suit, and I've noticed a lot of the fight night players, if you don't hit us during stagger, will try to oblige that uh the idea and you know continue with it and be like yeah we'll back off too like spartan will do the same chevy i think does the same he only follows what you do well no he'll hit and stagger he'll hit and stagger no trust me he'll hit and stagger a lot of the times when we were fighting nine, he'll hit and stagger but that's because i instigate the hits a lot of us now like the pros and the legends on you know the ogs you know the big boys we don't hit and stagger. I say we, I don't mean me yet. They're retired right now. They're not actively fight nighting, so I consider them 
Legend Sin. Stuff like that. We need to actually make a Hall of Fame. A Fight Night Hall of Fame? Oh shit, who's up in it then? Yeah, we'll... Yeah, yeah, do the, yeah. Drop the, uh, Discord Hall of Fame. I'll take the people who's in there and I'll start setting up a, uh... And start setting it up for modern day Fight Night. Like, we're gonna have it recorded as old time. And then I'm going to make a new... Uh, like, I'm gonna add us on. And it's gonna be clear that it's OG Fight Night Hall of Fame and then New Day Hall of Fame. You and I will be considered both OG and new. Because we fall in both classes. Yep, later. Oh, that spike. Well, a much more relaxing fight night for sure. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's better than last night's fight night, which didn't go off, if I'm honest. It was it was so disappointing. But here we are, 22. And I'm still kicking as if I was, like, 17. I'm like... I, I may be older now, but I'm still whipping ass like it was nothing. Actually, I think I'm doing even better now. I want to say that people, like, we're not even, like, we're not even in our prime, quote, quote, yet. Like, we're not in peak physical condition or nothing. I think that's, like, years later. I think 24 up, I think is when you start. 24 to, like, 30, I think it's year you start hitting your prime. But that is Saturday night, fight night. Yet again, I think this is win 35 record wise I think I don't know it's like I'm starting to get there I think it's like 20 25 to 30 consecutive wins now I'll have to double check the records on uh, discord about it but like I said I wasn't losing I wasn't losing the belt and I'm gonna keep my big update a secret for the next three months and the secret will actually be dropped in an announcement directly after Super Fight 2024 and then once that update hits it's gonna, it's gonna be something else I guarantee you that that update and that news that I'm gonna be dropping is going to change Fight Night forever or at least change Fight Night in a lot of ways but that's assuming everything goes the way I have it thought out and everything goes according to plan then that update will uh, definitely definitely take it up but here we are signing off of Fight Night, still your undisputed Fight Night champion and undefeated champion. So far running off 9 consecutive months unbeaten on Fight Night, where I resume the championship ring and I'm looking to make it another 3 months and then I get a full year as champion. But I am going to get shit face drunk today. Like I said, last year was my 21st, 22nd birthday. I'm done here. Happy birthday, me. Woohoo. And I get to keep the gold as a present. Look at that.